Hey guys and girls, Lauren here, and today we are building Tatiana's Palace. Now, I was calling it Tatiana's Place for some reason. I guess I just wasn't paying that close attention to what it was called. So, that was kind of embarrassing, but it's Tatiana's Palace. I kind of like Tatiana's Place a little bit better as a name, but, you know, this, this could definitely be like a palace. And the fact that she ends up as a princess in the end kind of makes sense. But... This is my attempt at recreating her dream restaurant towards the end of the movie. Well, it's her dream restaurant the whole movie, but you get you get it. You you do. So, it was a really large challenge mainly because the pictures that I found, there was one of in the movie that's just like a still of the movie um where she's at the end walking through and her you know friends are there at the restaurant sitting at the tables and everything she's walking through and I think she's singing but I'm not really sure um I based a lot of it off of that picture for the interior but the interior and the picture of the exterior that I found online didn't really match up if that I mean I know it's kind of confusing but the shape of the building on the outside didn't matched the shape of the inside for me. I don't know if I missed something, um, but there wasn't really shown where the bathroom would be or where the chefs cooked their food, you know, or any of these things. So it got a little bit, it got a little bit confusing. Like I imagine maybe the bathrooms and everything were in the small side here, but, um, <laughs> It didn't end up working out that way for me just because of um, sizing for the Sims, I guess. I ended up putting them on the second floor, so the waitresses take a little bit of time to get around, but it actually worked pretty good. I did play it, and it worked fine. It, it didn't seem like it was a big deal, um, but it did kind of change shape towards the end because of the additions I had to make. like The things that are required by um, the lot you know, like right here it says sink, toilet, chef station, dining spot, you know, those things are required and those things were not all shown in the picture so it was kind of a little bit of playing around with um, with what I thought it would look like. And then for the outside it kind of looked like a red brick but then it kind of didn't and in there you see them going at it with paintbrush, you know, in the movie they're getting prepared to so I kind of felt like this color was called like hand painted something 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 and I thought that was really great and I'm not really a sold on the red but in the picture it's red so I might change it in my game I uploaded it as the red because I wanted you guys to have the you know the what it, what the picture looked like um, but I might change it just because it doesn't really go with the fairy tale or the modern side of Nuka Christ so I'll probably upload both versions so you can get either one, but literally I'll just go in and change the color. I probably won't, you know, I might make it just a br just a regular kind of grayish brick kind of matching the graveyard to the side, or I'm not sure. I just don't think the red goes, I love the red carpet, you know, don't get me wrong, that's awesome, that'll stay. But the, the full red just didn't work for me very well. But it does go with the look of the picture, and it does look... I know it was pretty close. I actually asked my husband at one part. I was just like, "All right, look, here's the picture of what I'm trying to make, and this is what I have done so far." And he gave me a lot of input, uh, mostly to the front, which I haven't changed yet. Um, but he was just like, you know, turn the or shorten the the little like porch thing a little bit, and um, that'll look better and then you know just some little things that were so on point that I was just so stressed out and I hate that because normally builds do not stress me out at all like it's actually relaxing but this one got so complicated that I got so flabbergasted I had to stop for a while and just be like walk away walk away and come back later because I kept doing stupid things like deleting this floor before I should have I shouldn't have done that and it, it actually cost me a lot of time because then I had to do, you know, and I didn't realize it until way, way, way far. So, like, undo wouldn't have done me any good. So, it was just, it was a kind of a mess. I was kind of a mess. But it is done. It is beautiful. It is functioning. And I kind of love it. I'm kind of in love with, like, I took Tatiana and Naveen there. And I had him playing the violin, though, terribly. Oh, my goodness. 
Like, I thought that the um, guests in the restaurant were going to leave because of how terrible his playing was. So instead, then after that, I was like, maybe we should just hire uh, a pianist instead and let them play rather than have Naveen play until he actually gets good enough. But then he walks over and starts singing because I put um, put a microphone there as well so that you could do like you know comedy or whatever. It can be a pretty much all purpose. And so he walked over and started practicing singing and that. And I was just like, he's just you can't, can't control him. He just has to sing and dance and play music and and do all these things. I was gonna add by the way something there in the middle and I ended up forgetting. And leaving it just like this and I thought it looked good I mean it looks kind of weird because it's just you know crossing over there's nothing actually connected to it um, but yeah it was actually supposed to have something there and I just forgot to go back so I apologize for that if you want to add something feel free um, of course because now it is yours it is all yours I did take a lot of time and I'm pretty sure the gallery version will transfer this into your game but I took a lot of time choosing the menu and choosing the outfits I made sure that um, all the staff were wearing something kind of vintage um, 1920s ish style and I also included gloves because that's Tatiana's thing like she's always wearing gloves so even for the chef and stuff I put gloves and I would pretend they're probably like rubber gloves or plastic or whatever you know safety first and things and then I made sure I like chef's hats but I didn't feel like that was that fit so I instead I gave different kinds of hats like a head wrap instead or something like that for the um, chefs and I think it's really cute I mean it's it's not I mean I know we're like protect the hair don't let the hair get in the food but this is the same deal so, I mean, we're only so worried about that. But I like how the lights on the front here turned out. I just, I do wish I had had just lines, not necessarily like dangly lights. Um, but it did turn out looking really nice. I, I couldn't figure out really another way to do it that I thought looked right. And it was a big pain in my booty sometimes trying to get these things to fit right but I think it was worth it because it turned out so nice but I think I couldn't get one to fit somewhere I ended up putting two and it's so weird I ended up putting I need to kind of control this a little bit because I kind of use every single pack I've got and I kind of need to, con to rein that in a little because you might not have all these packs that I bought because I saw one thing I liked in it I'm sorry I'm sorry, it's so bad. It's so bad. I can't help myself, but it's just so bad. But anyway, I put the night lights up on the top thing because I thought the stars just made it seem feel like, I don't know, romantic and, I don't know, cute. There is a pole there. <gasps> there is a column there on that top floor. And I don't know if it's still there now because I ended up having to extend the building to add the bathroom, but it is there was there whatever but you can't see it and I don't know why I just don't know I don't know why and these are outside and I think I might delete them because I'm actually afraid they're gonna seat people there because there's no real easy way for anyone to get out there I didn't add a back door or anything so there's no real easy way for them to get there to feed them stuff but it looked like the picture in that I found you know in the movie so it was necessary for me to put that there, even though I'm not really sure I want anybody to actually eat there. But one thing that I noticed in, see I should have just left that, and I should have put the, the kitchen in there, and the bathrooms in there. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. You know this is a very nice learning experience though, because I mean while I get to make these because I want you guys to see and I you know it's really awesome learning experience because I go and I watch literally I probably watch all these like a ton of builds while building not even kidding most of the YouTube I watch is while playing the Sims so it's you literally right now I'm probably watching some uh, some other or at least listening to because I'm obviously pretty busy in the game but I'm at least listening to um, other people's games and stuff and I'm learning so much about you know um, kind of how to manipulate the stuff to make things look 
like they would in real life, you know? Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Cause I mean, some of these lights and stuff, like how these things are not technically supposed to be there. And then I have to go back and kind of like move them because they're technically just hovering. But yeah, it took a long time. It took a lot of little like wiggles, but that's the kind of thing that I really like to find in build videos. It's just kind of little ways to, um, to make the, make it work, to make your, your vision happen in the sims which is what i really like if only i could find some ones that would just teach me how to do the roofs already i mean they do they all teach me something but it's just nothing ever works the way i want it to even if i watch a video hey guys speaking of aren't we supposed to be able to paint the ceiling or was that the sims 3 i feel like we we're supposed to be able to paint the ceiling and i couldn't figure out how and i meant to google it before i finished it but i forgot because i'm so easily distracted it's kind of ridiculous. So I was going to put two bathrooms on the side, but then I realized I still didn't know what I was going to do with the chef stuff. So then I decided I needed a way for them to get up there. Literally, I changed my mind about how to do this about 16 million times. So it was a struggle. But what I wanted for the interior was it to be kind of, because I noticed in the picture it's very gold, it's very shiny. The floor doesn't have lots of, you know, carpets or anything. It's just a beautifully shiny wood floor. And I just wanted everything to kind of mimic that. So I tried to make sure not, not to put carpets down. I put one carpet in the entire thing. I am so proud of myself. And that is kind of a little sitting area that you don't see in the movie. But I thought would be more realistic because, you know, you go to a, a restaurant and you're not usually seated immediately like mo sometimes you have to wait especially during the busy parts so I ended up putting a little sitting area which was hilarious because I w bought the place with Tatiana and Naveen and then had them go and open it up and you know um, get all of their staff and everything and Tatiana like immediately takes a nap on the couch in a little like entryway and I was like oh well that is not what I intended that to be used for but that's okay whatever these um, dishwashers, by the way, behind the stairs actually work. I didn't make sure because I was concerned. But they do work. So that was kind of nice. And these tables were actually pretty much perfect. Not necessarily these because I ended up doing some more round ones. I liked these chairs. I just thought they were just too much. The ones with the drapes. I love them, but they just, they were, I felt like they were just too much. So I went with the, it didn't match the picture very well. So I went with the round tables that had the green and the white and on the picture it was kind of like green on top and white down on the bottom but you know you can't be that picky it looks it looks similar and I mean it's not a ton of seating I end up putting like four tables there in the middle but it's plenty and the place is huge but it's it's not just a restaurant it's a restaurant and like a jazz club so I wanted there to be plenty of room for the instruments and for entertainment and all of that it's kind of annoying in the sims at least because the sims kept getting up from their seat to go and tip the people playing the instruments you'll see this little bar on the top or this little um it's supposed to be fencing i guess but i put it there because i didn't want that light to just look like it was hovering so i put it there so that when you're on the second floor at least you it feels like that that's Sus that the light is suspended on that bar rather than just in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Sweet. Yep, no. Oh, j uh, mm, jazz club. I was at the jazz club. Oh, the people kept getting up out of their seats to go and tip the people who were playing the instruments, which is great because I made like 40 simoleons, but bad because <laughs> they were just standing up there. And I kept getting Tatiana to like go and welcome them or um, ask them how their food was or give somebody some free dessert because that one meal was terrible. You know, that kind of thing. And yeah, all of them were just standing around the piano. Just, you know, and I mean, that's awesome. But I kind of wish they could enjoy it from their table rather than having to get up constantly. But like I said, did make some simoleons off that stuff. So that's cool. But when I started getting in here, and before I uploaded it to the gallery, so something you won't see here, but you will see there, is some frogs. I added some frogs. 
I actually had Noreen go get them because I, um, I tried the whole, like, debug, whatever cheat thing, and I couldn't find frogs, and I don't know, I don't know, maybe I was just, maybe I was just too impatient, which is quite possible, so I could have just been like, rah, oh, I'll just worry about it later, and never actually go back to it, you know, that kind of moment, but he went, and he personally found those frogs, for you and I put them on I put one on the piano and I think I put one I don't know where I put the other one but anyway there's at least one see I put that thing up there I just didn't want it to look like it was hovering I don't know it kind of looks like it's hovering still but anyway I hope that you like it like I said it does function you're you know obviously change it and let me know if you do and how if it works better a different way because I will change it in my game too I have no problem with that, but I think it turned out really nice, and for my first ever restaurant, I am pretty happy with it, and I hope that you are too. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, please give it a like down below and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time as we continue to play all the games.